Hey guys. Alright, so uh, along with the theme of CSS3 and WebKit stuff that we've been doing, uh, let's take a look at how to build gradients, specifically radial gradients. More specifically, we're going to try and match a Photoshop gradient. These can get pretty complicated and you can do a lot of coding here, but there are some advantages. So one of the goals I have for this screen over here is that all of the gradients, including the buttons and the background and all that, will all be done with CSS3. There will be no images except for this one right here. That's the only image on this page. Why? Well, it'll load quick. And two, it'll really learn you how uh, CSS3 gradients work. And uh, yeah, those are probably the only two advantages to that. So here's what we start, what we're starting off with. This is a blue box, the right size, floated off to the left. So first thing we're gonna have to do here, well first let's um, hide everything but our gradient. So, uh, over here we're gonna have our layer in Photoshop and we're just gonna alt click on the eye and that's gonna hide everything but this one layer and don't worry you can alt click again to bring it all back okay so we're gonna leave it that so this is the gradient that we're gonna try and make okay so he, we're gonna start with here we need this box to center vertically and horizontally okay so the, in order to do that what you have to do is so that that box is um, 480 by 640 okay so it's like an iPhone on its end okay so in order to um, get it in the center, we're going to position fixed, okay, and then we're going to left 50%, okay, so now we're going to left 50%, then we're going to do uh, top 50%, okay, so now it's almost centered, not pixels, percent, and then you just have to adjust your margins, which are half of each of the full widths, so it's, the margin is going to be, um, so the top and the top and bottom will be half of 640, which is 320 pixels, and then it's going to be uh, zero for the bottom, uh, sorry, zero for the right, and then zero for the bottom, and then the left side is going to be uh, negative 240, which is half of 480. Okay, and so that, and let's just test real quick, that should center this. Great, okay, and that should always be in the center. Excellent, no matter what we do. Okay, so let's start building this gradient. Well, first we need to know the syntax for building a CSS3 gradient, okay? Uh, we're going to start with WebKit, then we'll do Mozilla. So it's background, so this is all part of the background property. Dash WebKit, uh, dash gradient. And this is in parentheses. Okay, so you've got the type, then you've got your, um, I guess we'll call it outer circle x and then and then y and then radius of that so still on the outer circle okay and it's not x comma y it's actually x space y and then comma the radius of that and then comma and then inner circle uh, x space y comma radius okay and then comma and then you've got color stop and then you've got um, a percentage and then a color and then we're gonna have two color stops, so color stop, percentage, and then a color. So let's explain what the hell these are. Okay, let's start with the easy stuff, color stops. Color stops are uh, in Photoshop. Let's open up our gradient here. Okay, these are color stops, that guy and that guy. Okay, so I have two color stops. I have one at 0%, see location 0%, and the other at 78%, okay? So reading right from Photoshop, we can easily see where these are, okay? So 0%, 78%. Alright, so then what we have to do is let's take a look at what these are. So we've got type. So type is going to be either radial or linear, okay? So in our case we want radial, it's pretty self-explanatory. And in here, that's going to be our our style, okay? If we're trying to match that up. Alright, then um, we need to do what our outer circle. So why do we have an outer circle and an inner circle? Think of what a radial gradient is for a second, okay? You've got a giant circle on the outside, okay? And then you've got an, a circle in here that the colors are fading to, okay? So for, for any any gradient, you need to have at any you need to have at least two colors, but in terms of a radial, you actually have two circular shapes. And I'm gonna make these uh, super advanced here in a second uh, to show you, but let's just draw on here. And this may be a helpful thing to do. So you've got this inner circle, which is actually set to zero right now, so you can't see it. So there's actually a zero circle right in here that is emitting this, okay? And then there's an outer circle that's emitting the rest of this that 
no, here, let's just do a marquee, an elliptical marquee here. And then there's an outer circle uh, that is creating the gradient on the inside. Okay, so you've got this one emitting this, and you've got this one on the outside. So you can kind of see how the radial, 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 interesting, how the radial gradient is kind of working. That's why there's two circles, okay? So let's just uh, undo Command-D, Command Option Z, okay. So radial, so the outer circle X. So we want our, our, our X and Y to be exactly in the center here. Okay, so if our entire width is, what is it, 3 width 480? So if our entire width is 480, the exact center is going to be exactly half of 480, which is, again, we did that earlier, just 240, right? So our outer circle X is going to be 240, and you guessed our Y, now that we've known our equation, is going to be half of the height, which is going to be 320, okay? Now we want our circle, our outer circle on our inner and our inner circle to be at the exact same X and Y. So we're going to go ahead and put these at 240 by 4, uh, by 320. Why do we want those to be in the same place? Well, if you've got the one inner circle here, and then you've got the outer circle, and then you've got the outer circle starting over here, okay, you can see how the, gr the radial gradient, can I add to it? Oh, I can. See how the radial gradient would, would uh, it would actually create lines. Can I draw on this while it's selected? Yeah, so it would actually create, um, lines like this, the gradient would, would do that because it doesn't know, they're not in the same spot. You can do that and that creates gradients on an angle, okay, which may be something you want to do, not what I want to do. So I'm going to make these in the same center spot. And in terms of radius, so like I said, the inner circle um, radius is going to be zero because it, you'll see in a second, but it's zero. And then this one we want to be, um, if you think about it, the size of it, okay, we want it to be a little bit bigger Okay, well, actually, a little bit smaller than our um, where's our 320 than our than our half of our uh, height. Okay, uh, so if we look at the the outer circle, it kind of stops here and it kind of stops here. So our height is 480. So we want to make it a little bit smaller than 480. Um, I've done some experimenting already. I'm going to make it 380. So it's about 100 pixels. So it's about 50 pixels in here and about 50 pixels in here. That makes 100 to pixels total, less than the whole width. So you can see that this is the original color right here and here. And it's going to be really hard to tell. And I don't think I'll be able to show you, but it actually the gradient actually does stop like right about here somewhere, okay? And and again, the whole point of me explaining that is that um, it's not, you could, you could make this this second radius be the whole 480, but it doesn't, it wouldn't match our Photoshop document, okay? So that's enough on that. So then these three, okay, these two color stops. So if we look at the color stops again, we already, whoops, we already talked about it, and we already said, okay, I want zero, and then I want uh, 78, okay? So which is which, right? Well, our, well, really, you just have to experiment, but I'm pretty sure that the first one is going to be our inner color, and our second one is going to be our last color. So you always want to start with 0% and then move up to uh, larger percentages. So we'll start with 3%, and then we'll go to our, well, actually 0%, and then 78%. And then we got to choose our colors, right? So we'll just go into Photoshop, and we'll just, buy, oh, that, did I change the color? No, okay. So we'll just grab our hex color here, and paste that in again with a hash because that's how you define hex colors and go ahead and paste this one in and paste this in okay and I think that's it so let's save that and refresh and hit checkout okay so there's our gradient and if we look at our thing we're like okay what's wrong here well obviously our gradient is completely reversed okay so that's our first problem let's fix that so it comes to show you that uh, the, the even though our 0% was our let me pull up this tangent here. Even though our 0% was our 0% here, it actually is completely flip reverse. Okay, so we actually need this to be, um, and you can't just have 78% first, so you actually have to drop this in first, make this one 0%, and make that 78%. Okay, that's a necessity. Make sure your commas are correct. And now that it's reversed, let's take a look. Okay, and let's take a look at here and see how close we are. Okay, so you're like, okay, well they don't look anything alike. You're right, they don't. I mean, they look kind of alike, but they're not really alike-alike. So what happened? Well, this circle, this inner circle, is defined a lot more, okay? It looks like that our radius is not set. It is set to zero, but it looks like 
the circle isn't all the way into the center. So what's the what's the fix for that? Well, the the issue that we find is that um, you really the seventy percent is kind of a lie. That's the problem. Um, even though Photoshop says and this is this is just kind of in experimenting even though this is set to here uh, setting it at 78% actually doesn't work okay um, I've done some adjusting and you're just gonna have to play with it at this point and that's kinda what sucks right now about these gradients so I've done some research and 3% 100% um, is is a much better color so if I refresh this and take a look um, you can see now that that middle circle is a lot smoother than it was before. So the, what that's what that and the reason that is, okay, is that 70%. What it's doing is it's going, okay, I want to start at 70% in and then go to the other circle. So this color, you can kind of see this a very defined ring in here, and that's not what we want. We don't want a defined ring at all. All right, so that's why we do our 100% because the 78% doesn't make any sense. Well, it does make sense, but it doesn't work. So now we've got our two gradients that are uh, pretty close in size. This is actually zoomed in too much. So we've got our radio gradients that are pretty much exactly the same. Uh, you can always adjust the colors a little bit more, get your colors a little more identical, but here you've got a CSS3 gradient. Um, I have time to show you the Mozilla. So let's go and do the Mozilla version which is background again we're gonna make a new background decora declaration and it's dash Moz radial gradient is the key gradient okay and that's gonna be first thing there's actually a lot of options the first thing is actually all the location information but for Mozilla all that's set to default for a, a centered centered circle so just ignore all that for now the first thing we want is a circle Okay, you have to define whether whether it's a circle or an ellipse. This is not circle or linear because there's Moz linear gradient instead. So the first thing is going to be a circle for what we're doing, and then you just have the color and the percentage, and then the color and the percentage. Okay, and so this is our color. Now, <laughs> Mozilla actually got it right. So remember how we had to reverse these to get it correct? Well, Mozilla actually has it right in the first place. So we're actually going to take this first number color and then do that three percent so see that the percentages is on the wrong one this percentage is on here now Mozilla actually switches it back because Mozilla had it right to begin with so comma and then we'll do our other one pound and then and then hundred percent and that is a Mozilla background gradient so if I let's pull up Mozilla here I have already had it up here check out uh, obviously that's a huge failure. It doesn't like that at all. Alright, so the problem is that I spelled circle wrong. I had to stare at this for like five minutes before I realized it. It's highlighted here. It means I, this is the right one, and that's because I spelled circle wrong. Of course. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, and refresh Firefox. Check out. And there's our gradient. Uh, so you can see, let's put uh, Mozilla up next. These are pretty much identical, which is great. And then against the Photoshop document, again, we need to do more, a little more do a little more tweaking, but we're getting there with our CSS gradients.